Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1, and it goes like this. The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Throughout the history of our faith, the question often been asked, where is God when tragedy strikes? Yeah, I've asked that, and I'm certain that you have too. You know, and as often as that question's been asked, there's been no shortage of answers put forth by Christians and non-Christians alike. But even deeper than that question is the concern by some that God is silent when hard times hits. I just love what Carrie Tinboom the great Christian who served the Lord during World War II and was put in a uh, prison, con uh, you know, camp. And uh, she once quoted, uh, there is no panic in heaven, only plans. Boy, that's, uh, that just rings true in my heart. What a perspective from a woman who knew what suffering and tragedy was really all about. Has it ever sunk in that nothing takes God by surprise? Nothing. I mean, all kinds of stuff happened, but it didn't take him by surprise. He wasn't shocked at it, though we are. When sickness and death seems like they're, you know, just right there, there's a, 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 a we, we want to panic. It just, oh, but, you know, God doesn't flinch. No. You see, while we're often taken by surprise, nothing takes God by surprise. No matter how great a power Satan might have in this world, no matter how it may appear evil, just right here. God's power is mightier. It's mightier than the power of our enemy. Yeah, Satan. Folks, we got to keep in mind that God's in control. God is in control. This is uh, our, our, our Lord, our, our creator. It, it's, it's his world. So, you know, we have to trust in the Lord continually with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind. We have to trust in him because he is in control. Even when he's silent, he's still in control. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on that cross for us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.